everyone, this is Bonnie from Backward Story here with another edition of Mad About Nails. And this week, for the first time, my nail design is based on a book series, um, the New Soul Trilogy by Jody Meadows. The first book is Incarnate, and the second book just came out, and it is Asunder. And last weekend, I got to go to a tour to see Jody sign books, and I wanted my nails to look like her, so I created this gradient that goes from red to orange to yellow to green to blue to purple and um, I made it look like the gradient um, that takes over the books and I want to um, go about showing everything I used to do that it did take a little bit of time I'm actually not overly fond with how they came out um, for one thing my nails are st still too short because they were breaking really badly due to the winter and um, being sick and the medicine dried me out and all of that um, and then the stamping didn't go the way I wanted, and I made a mistake that made it so that the second half of the gradient <laughs> didn't work. Um, but I still want to show you what I did, because it's the first time I did something for a book to make it look similar to a book. And I want to show you how I went about doing that. Um, I've been waiting for a sunny day so I could truly show off the way these glow in the light, but you really can't see it, and the colors look flat because it is still overcast. We've had snow just about every day this week, so I do apologize for that. Um, I'm just going to go over really fast uh, the colors I used and the tools that I used to create this look. And I'm going to link to the video that I followed on YouTube because this wasn't my original idea. I was googling uh, rainbow gradient nails and found this technique and decided to try it out. Um, because I'm trying to get my nails long and healthy again. As a base coat, I used the Sally Hansen Green Tea and Olive Growth. Um, and then, for each of the uh, nails, I put the base coat of this nail as orange, and I used Ulta in uh, Son of a Gun, S-U-N of a Gun, and then on nails two and three, I used this yellow color by Ulta in Sensational, also S-U-N. So that was nails two and three. Nail four for my base coat, I um, did this green shimmer color by Ulta in a uh, textile me later and this is from the glazed and confused con uh, collection that Ulta put out last year sometime and um, I really need to get a flat green something that's kind of a middling color because this was a little bit too dark and everything else I had was a little bit too light and limey and if I mix the colors together, um, it wouldn't have looked the same the next day because I actually let the base coat dry overnight before I did the gradient the next day so that I didn't have sticky nails. So this green is a little darker than I would have liked. And then for the pinky, for my fifth nail, the base coat was purple and it was by OPI and it was um, Pack Your Booty Shorts. And I think I got this for free during some sort of Ulta deal last year. I'm not sure what collection it came from, but they gave it to me for free. So that was my base. I let it dry overnight and then um, the next day I followed the video that again I'm going to link to and I kind of didn't fully um, follow it the right way I guess because she had uh, painted the base one color and then used the gradient to sponge and create a slide between the two colors and I forgot about that part until the last couple of nails so I didn't do it for the first couple. I went straight to the sponging. And for the sponging, I'm just using a pack of cosmetic wedges that I got from the dollar store. And, you know, they just look like this. And you paint the two colors and then you blot it on. Um, so that was my gradient sponge. And uh, I started with red. And the red that I chose is from OPI. And it is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. And it is called um, Off With Her Red. And so I only had a little bottle of it, and then when I went back, they never had the big bottle again. But this is what I used for my red. And again, I went over most of these colors. The only color I didn't tell you about earlier was the blue that I used, which is from the Ulta brand. And it is called 
It's called Indigo, and I think this was also from an Ulta collection. I think this might have been from, like, the Denim Blues co collection. Um, I'll have to double-check that when I make my post later. Um, I don't know that I still have the box for it like I do these two, but I'm pretty sure it's from the Denim collection. I think I took it out of the box and threw the box away over the summer when I was doing my Olympic nails. Um, but so that is what I did for my um, gradient when I was doing that technique between all of my nails. And again, I'll link to the video so you can see how she did it. She did it better than me. Uh, for stamping, my stamps didn't come out too well because the first stamp I used was too big and the other one was a little too small. But the stamp color I used was by Pure Ice in um, the color Silver Mercedes. And this is from Walmart. It might be a Walt uh, Walmart exclusive brand, I'm not sure. But they say this is great for stamping because you get a very opaque color um, that goes on. And I will show you the stamps I used. All the stamps I used came from the Shani Cosmetics um, image plate collection that I got for my birthday off of Amazon last year. And in particular, I used uh, the first two nails where the butterfly was too big are from stamp SH24. And that is the butterfly. It thought it was really beautiful and ornate. But unfortunately, with my nails being too short, it was a little too big. And then uh, it was a little too small on the other nails because it was this little trio of butterflies and my nails were wet and I didn't want to go looking for a mid-sized butterfly, so I kind of dealt with it. And um, for anyone new to stamping, you just take the paint and you put it onto um, the stamp you want to use and then you take a gift card or a scraper. And a gift card is a little um, softer on the plate because it doesn't leave long grooves behind. And then you like scrape off the remainder. And then you take a stamp, and I use the MASH stamp because I like the colors better than the Conad stamp, and it does the same thing. But you put it down, and then you, like, roll it onto your nails. And there are YouTube videos for how to do stamping if you want to figure that out. And um, between nails, it's really good idea to keep the plate clean. Use, like, a Q-tip. And um, I have this container from Sephora that... You like take the tip and you push down on this piece and then the um, nail polish remover comes shooting up so that you don't get your hands wet. And I was kind of cross going back and forth between that. And when you do something messy like this, it's a good thing to take Vaseline and to uh, put it on the edges of your nails so that it comes off easily. And even doing that and using nail polish removal, remover on my cuticles and stuff, it still looked like I was playing in uh, finger paint when I went to work and I still had paint everywhere that I couldn't get off because my nails were too tacky. Um, but so that's everything I used there. And then I topped everything off once it dried with, um, you're not gonna see it well unfortunately in the light. If it was sunny, this would look really beautiful because the way every single color looks different with this polish. But I took this um, glitter by Zoya that I am absolutely in love with. It's called Chloe and I just got it recently. It was my first time using it. Um, I had seen beautiful pictures online where people have been using this and um, every time you put it over a color it slightly changes like the g orange is suddenly an orange glitter, a red glitter, like a green glitter. The purple has flecks of like pink and green and blue in it and this just really morphs and changes depending on what you put it against and I'm absolutely in love and need to wear this much more frequently. Um, and I'm probably going to be taking my polish off today because it's a week old. I painted my nails a week ago, and you can see they're starting to um, peel and lift and my nails growing out. And I don't know what I'm doing next yet, but I know I want to go to Ulta tonight and see if they have the new OPI Euro Central collection because I want to get um, polka.com, and I might pick up um, Meet Me in Budapest, I think it's called. It's like this really uh, pale pastel purple with a faint shimmer to it. I want to see it in person first. But I might do that to my nails tonight. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But uh, this is what I did do. And again, it was for the Jody Meadows books. And this is everything I used. It definitely took a lot of time. I did it over two days and um, I didn't really have time to fix any mistakes before the signing. But I wanted to show you what I did because it's the first time I've linked books together with my manicures. And since A Backward Story is book related, um, I thought it was a good post to have. So that's everything this week and hopefully I do something interesting to show you again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye!